How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for path for step one. Okay, nothing dramatic here. Just going to uh, chop through, not waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And start the clip. 24 year old man. He's 6'6, 170 pounds. Vitals are stable, no past medical history. And then we've got a micrograph of a biopsy specimen from a, uh, from a malignancy his father had years ago. Patient says his father had a neck lump of some kind, but doesn't recall the details. And then we have this uh, light microscopy image here of the histo. So this patient is at greatest risk for development of which the following. Let's just hop through. Should I say an angio, myolipoma, wrong fucking answer, refers to the renal malignancy you get in. Actually, I shouldn't say malignancy because that means malig that means metastatic potential. Uh, angiomyolipoma, which we see in tuberous sclerosis, is benign. Okay, it's not going to metastasize at any point. So long discussion. Okay, as far as the phacomatoses, tuberous sclerosis, NF1, NF2, von Epelindau, Sturge Weber, not going to go down that route. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B atrophy of adrenal cortex, wrong fucking answer, refers to Addison disease. Okay, so that's going to be decreased aldosterone and decreased cortisol. ACTH goes up to compensate hyperpigmentation, fatigue, high potassium, low sodium, uh, decreased pH, decreased bicarbonate, normal anion metabolic acidosis. Autoimmune diseases, okay, I mean something to consider, but in this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, blue cell neoplasia, twice the size of lymphocytes, nebulous answer choice, wrong fucking answer. Refers to small cell bronchogenic carcinoma. Now, if any of you have been following my prior content, I've talked about this quite a bit, how the NBME, they like this descriptor for small cell, okay? It's like, OMG, holy shit, twice the size of lymphocytes. Not my fucking opinion. It's on the NBME exam, okay? So, obviously, uh, the... Perineoplastics, SIADH, Cushing from ACTH secretion, Lambert Eaton, uh, small cell uh, cerebellar dysfunction, anti HU, anti YO antibodies, lengthy chat, but it is small blue cells. Carcinoid tumor of the appendix, small bowel, can also be small blue cells. And Ewing sarcoma, also small blue cells. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, hyperplasia of parafollicular cells, correct answer. So parafollicular cells, C, the, the C cells of thyroid produce calcitonin. This buzzy pass level histo is showing us the apple green birefringence with Congo red stain of medullary or medullary thyroid carcinoma, okay, so amyloid. And you get C cell hyperplasia secreting calcitonin. Now, if you say, Mike, that's weird though. Are you sure the cancer itself doesn't secrete calcitonin? Like, what do you mean, parafollicular C cell hyperplasia? Okay, drop back to the NBME exam. Not my fucking opinion, all right? There's, an, there's a vignette on one of the step one NBMEs where they give you a medullary thyroid cancer and they say in the vignette, parafollicular C cell hyperplasia. Okay, I was like, oh, wow, okay. So, I mean, I learned this stuff too, all right? I just go by the NBME exam. So, increased serum calcitonin in medullary thyroid cancer, past level, okay? And calcitonin, they want you to know its mechanism is the, of action is that it inhibits osteoclast activity. So it's a, it's a tangential lengthy discussion. Some students erroneously think that calcitonin is the opposite of PTH. It's not, meaning they think that it brings calcium out of the blood, puts it back in the bone, right? Because Parathyroid brings calcium from the bone out into the blood. Doesn't do that. Calcitonin merely caps off the amount of calcium that's already in the blood by inhibiting osteoclasts. And then, of course, exogenously, pharmacologically, bisphosphonates, e.g. alendronate, they also inhibit osteoclasts. So this patient has men to be. Okay, marfanoid, body habitus, OID, oid, means looks like but ain't. He doesn't have Marfan syndrome, but he looks like he has Marfan syndrome. Okay, so marfanoid body habitus pheochromocytoma, which isn't included here, and medullary thyroid cancer, and coastal neuromas, and of course, uh, MEN2A, it's going to be pheochromocytoma, medullary thyroid cancer, and then parathyroid, parathyroid adenoma or diffuse foregland hyperplasia, MEN1, going to be parathyroid pituitary pancreas, long discussion. Now, this is RET gene, MEN2 is RET, okay, RET, proto-oncogene, they want you to know that. And another interesting slash weird detail I can tell you, is that NBME likes to give you RET as the answer 
for patients who have an isolated singular finding from one of the mentus. In other words, they can just give you a vignette of dude has medullary thyroid cancer, nothing else. They don't mention anything else in the vignette, family history or anything. And the answer is just ret. And you're like, that's weird. I thought that was men too, where we get a triad or a tetrad, men two V being the latter. No, they don't give a fuck. They'll just have a singular finding. Okay. Medullary. And then it's just red. All right. So real quick, some MoMA body is wrong. Fucking answer refers to papillary, papillary thyroid cancer. So it's an overrated detail. Like, does it show up? Sure. Okay. But some students get maniacal about uh, the cancers that have some MoMA bodies, meningioma, mesothelioma, serous adenocarcinoma of the ovary. Okay. Papillary thyroid cancer. They like memorize the list, like as though it's like ultra high yield. It's going to show up. You suddenly doesn't really give a fuck. Okay. So some MoMA bodies lamellated. A circular type of uh, calcium deposits on biopsy, get orphan antinuclei, bullshit detail. I don't think it ever, maybe one question tops on all of the step one NBME content combined. Don't even need to know that. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content, like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.